So let's continue our discussion on radical reactions and radicals. So in this lecture, we're going to examine the structure of our radicals by examining a specific example. Let's look at the methyl radical. Now before we look at the structure of the methyl radical, let's examine the structure of the cation and the methyl anion. And let's compare the structure to that of our methyl radical. So notice that our anion has two electrons, a pair of non-bonding electrons, in the sp3 hybridized orbital. And this maximum number of electrons in the orbital will not only repel one another, not only will these two electrons repel one another, but they will also create electrostatic repulsion that will push the electrons in these adjacent H atoms. So these electrons will be pushed downward along with the protons. So these H atoms will be pushed downward. So we're going to form an angle of approximately 99.8 degrees between the H carbon H. Once again, the methyl radical has two electrons, the maximum number of electrons in the sp3 hybridized orbital shown here. Now these electrons create electrostatic repulsion that pushes the electrons in these H atoms downward creating an angle of approximately 99 degrees. So let's now look at the, in a different picture. Now let's suppose we take these two electrons away from the orbital and now we form an empty 2p orbital. Now because this orbital is completely vacant, it's empty, that means there are no electrons to push these H atoms. So these H atoms will be aligned along the XY plane. And that means the angle will be 120 between this H carbon H. So once again, 2p orbital is empty, therefore angle remains at 120 degrees. Now, we could make the assumption that if we add one electron to create a radical into this orbital, what will happen is we'll have a structure somewhere in between the structure of the cation or the anion and the structure of the cation. And that's exactly right. Our structure of our radical is somewhere in between these two guys. So what happens is this electron is in this orbital all by itself. And because it's all by itself, it doesn't have enough, it doesn't create enough electrostatic repulsion to push these H atoms downward. So this is only slightly sha shallow. And in fact, it interconverts, this electron jumps from this orbital to this orbital lobe, creating this really quick jumping motion, the same way that an umbrella inverts in the wind. So for all approximation purposes, we can make the assumption that our structure of our radical, of the methyl radical, is in fact planar, in the same way that this uh, cation, methyl cation, is also planar. 